has it dawned on you that we are getting a sequel season with a Precure cast with the girls as adults? Hello everyone, it's Lel, and I started the video this way because I still can't believe we are getting Kibo no Chikara Otona Precure 23. This to me is feels surreal, it feels out of this world, but it's true and we finally have a beautiful promo image and also a website for this amazing ride that is going to be Adult Precure 23. This is going to be a sequel season to the Yes Precure 5 and Yes Precure 5 Go Go season and as we can already see in this gorgeous image, we can see Nozomi as an adult. Nozomi, our main character, our leader, Cure Dream, she is here. And I absolutely love this image. I love the way they work with colors. The colors are very soft, kind of like they were in Yes Precure 5, especially the backgrounds. It's very, it's very beautiful. It feels like watercolor, super, super nice. I love seeing Nozomi as an adult. It's not my favorite season, but it, it's making me so emotional. How far have we come? And I still can't believe we are getting this. So in this video, we are going to talk about the promo image and also the staff that is going to work on Otona Precure, a new season that is starting in October. So if you're afraid of Hirogaru Sky, is this going to be on the same time slot as Hirogaru Sky? Is Hirogaru Sky finishing early? No, it's gonna run on another time slot. And this season is going to be focused on all the fans, children to adults. So if you were some type of fan that were afraid that this would gear more towards adults and have a little bit of fan service, you can rest assured they won't do this. They won't tarnish the Precure reputation at all. We can rest assured because everything will work super nicely. So one of the things that we already know is that Nozomi's voice actor is coming back. And so far, she is the only character that we see. She is the only person announced voicing a character. We're probably gonna see everybody, but so far, it's only her. And in this poster, we only see Nozomi, but we already see a silhouette of Cure Dream as well. Hair seems to be a little longer than usual. I this image to me is everything. But if I have to talk about what I'm feeling, we would be here forever. And the focus of this video is the staff that is going to work on this show. So let's start talking about the team that is going to be working on this season. First of all, we have to talk about the director of this show. The director is called Takayuki Hamana. He worked in lots of other shows. He's been around since the 80s, baby. And he works with storyboarding, he works with animation, and also he works in directing shows. So he's been working for a long time in the anime industry. This man knows what he is doing, and he's obviously worked on Magical Girl shows before. He's the director of uh, very nice movies, from the Maho Shoujo Lyrical Nanoha franchise, which we are seeing here. And he directed both the Reflection and Detonation movies. I have covered both movies here on the channel. If you'd like to see my opinion on them, they're here. You can check it out. And uh, this man has worked more recently on other shows. One of them is called Arte, who tells the story of this woman who, you know, tries to fight society to be an artist. And he also worked uh, as a director in uh, some of the Prince of Tennis movies and tons and tons and tons of other shows. Another important person that is going to work on this show is the series composition, who is going to be Yoshimi Narita. More recently, she uh, she did the series composition for a show called Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. She is also the series composition from Dakaichi, which is a BL, it's an adaptation of a BL manga. I have never watched the anime, but I have. I am reading the manga right now because it's coming out in Brazil. It's a very interesting story, a little bit steamy sometimes, but I'm happy to see like people that have worked on BLs, you know, working on this show. We're gonna see more BLs later on down the road. So this is always very exciting to me, but this woman, 
has worked on two amazing Precure seasons as series composition as well. One of them is Super 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 Shista. She did the series composition for Splash Star. And most importantly, at least to me, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but to me it is Happiness Charge Precure. She did the series composition for this amazing and lovely season as well. So we're at definitely getting someone who knows the Precure franchise, who's worked on the Precure franchise, coming back to do another work, this time a very different one. Character designer this time around is not going to be Toshie Kawamura, who is the original character designer for the Yes Precure 5 Girls. Uh, Toshie did rough drawings for Otona Precure, so they're not coming back as character designer. The, this time, the person who is getting this role is called Atsuko Nakajima. This woman is also legendary because she did none other than Ranma. She is the character designer from Ranma. Ranma Half, I don't know how to pronounce the name of this show in English, but this is a classic, an anime classic, like perfection, just like that. She also did more recently the character designer for uh, Komi-san Can't Communicate. And it's interesting because Komi, the main character of this show, is voiced by the same voice actor as Elchan. So very interesting to think about like Precure worlds colliding like this. And she also did the character design of an anime called Princess Princess. I don't think this is a BL manga but it definitely has some uh, inspiration on, at the time, what we used to call yaoi. So, very interesting, and it's a very beautiful design as well. Girl, you know, this woman knows what she's doing. I, like, if you look at this image of Nozomi, she captured the essence of the Yes Precure 5 series to me. In my opinion, she really did. So, outstanding work. Now let's talk about music. This time around, the person who is in charge of music is Naoki Sato. Naoki Sato worked on Precure as well. And, you know, this man is also legendary because he did Futariwa Precure, Futariwa Precure, Max Heart, Splash Star, Yes Precure 5, and Yes Precure 5 Go Go. Boom! This man did the music for the OGs in Precure, and now he's coming back to do the music for Otona Precure as well. I feel like we're getting that nostalgia feeling, baby. We are getting that in this show for sure. And there is another work that he did that blows me away every time I think of it. X. X, that series from Clamp, it has a gorgeous story, gorgeous artwork and everything. It's super, super good. I love X. I live for X. And he did the music for X, the anime version as well. So, you know, we are in gorgeous hands for the music in this show as well. I feel like the team is super strong. And another interesting thing for us to pay attention to is that this is not going to be only toy animation. This is going to be a joint pro production between toy animation and Studio Dean. And this is not the first time it happens. This happened in a work that I absolutely loved, Sailor Moon Eternal. Sailor Moon Eternal was produced by the two studios coming together, Toy Animation and Studio Dean getting together and producing Sailor Moon Eternal. But the, the interesting thing to point out is that um, Otona Precure is going to basically be outsourced to Studio Dean, so they're doing the, like, the big work out of this. It's another interesting thing to point out. And uh, together with all the information that we learned, we also had some words that were said by Yuko Senpei, who is the voice actor of Nozomi. And she talked a little bit about uh, the, what she is experiencing now. She said uh, when she saw the image of Nozomi, this beautiful promo image that we have for this work, she said, she has grown up. I was so surprised. At first, I couldn't believe it so much that I checked if it was April Fool's Day or not. I couldn't believe it. Seeing her as an adult made me nervous 
and I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, in the press conference, she also mentioned, where is Rinchan? Where is Coco? <laughs> We're definitely going to see them down the road. Not now, but in the future for sure. Aki Murase, who is a product, product who is a producer on Precure in general, uh, said um, that if you take a closer look at this visual, you can see what kind of world do these girls see? What kind of days do they spend together? What will the girls talk about with their best friends from the past when they've grown up? She said little things, but enough to keep us intrigued, right? So um, let's go back to the image now that we talked a little bit about the production team. One of the things I really love about this is the sense of nostalgia it invokes. There is some sort of melancholy as well. But at the same time, I kind of feel that it has a hopeful outlook. Nozomi doesn't look very happy, but she looks hopeful. It feels like she can try hard and make things better. You know what I mean? It's just a simple image, but this is the vibe I'm getting. I love the watercolor and there are interesting things for us to notice here. The first one is the clock on the logo. There is a clock on the logo, so time will play some sort of role. And there's also a clock tower here. I've seen some people saying it's Big Ben or it might be uh, similar to Big Ben. I am horrible with historical things, so I don't know if it is. But if it is, Nozomi might be in London. For what? I don't know, but that might be it. I don't, I don't understand, really. But I feel like time is going to play a big role here. Is it, does it just mean time as time has passed? Or is it mean some, does it mean something more? Very, very curious. And another thing that makes me very happy and hopeful for this show is the fact that Studio Dean is working with it together with Toy Animation or mostly Studio Dean. I was not a big fan of Studio Dean in the past, but the work they did with Serum Eternal was gorgeous, in my opinion. I feel like it was incredible, even though they worked together with Toy. I feel like it was an incredible work, so I'm betting on another incredible work this time around. And they're also working on Sailor Moon Cosmos, which seems to be incredible as well, based on the trailers. So I'm very, very hyped and excited. So basically, this is what we know for now. All I know is that I'm super emotional. I'm super hopeful. I think we are getting something gorgeous that will blow us away, that will make us cry, that will make us emotional, and that will make us happy for being Precure fans. But if you are a Precure fan, there's also another interesting thing for you to think about, which is follow Build Knuckle on Twitter. You know why? Because Knuckles, he knows everything about production teams. Just basically what I was talking about in this video, but he actually knows what he's talking about. He knows and he studies, he thinks and it, he, he uh, researches every single person that is working on a Precure show. And he does weekly rundowns on the Hirogato Precure episodes uh, on his Twitter account, talking about the team that has worked on each Precure episode. Baby Knuckles knows it all about production. So give him a follow if you have a Twitter account, because it definitely, it will definitely be worth it. You will enrich your Precure experience. I know I do. It's a very interesting aspect of being part being part of a fandom, being fan of a show. Know what's behind the scenes. At least I like it. Anyways, babies, this is all for now. I want to take this time to thank the members of the Magical Cinema channel. Thank you so much for all the support. Inu, thank you so much for the behind the scenes information as well. Knuckles, thank you so much for all that you do for us Precure fans, for the fandom in general, with all the knowledge you have. And if you've watched the channel, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye!